Welcome to this Mark Shabu's Tutorials video. So here's video number two. I um, made a video about Australia's best coronator, but uh, I realized there's a whole lot of questions that come back about, uh, give us some more of the why it's the best coronator. Here's the cell. This is a big cell on this one. This is doing pools up to like 100,000 liters. So twice the normal size pool. Now the power pack. I think I mentioned in the other video how about it's got this cap on, which is keeping the sun off it, protecting the electronics, also keeping hail off it, um, protecting the box. Uh, there's a lot of little things like that in there. The stainless steel um, mounting bracket on the back, really thick plate stainless steel. It's just well made. They haven't skimped and put the cheapest of everything on. But the electronics of it is really good and easy to understand. The mode button, I'm going to go through because that's one of the main things. Okay, so the customer walked up at this point, saw that I was making a video and he said, hey, make sure you tell them I'm really happy with it. It's a really, really good unit. Best coronator I've had. But uh, it also means I'll shoot this again on another day. Hi there, welcome to this Marsh Reviews and Tutorials video. Now, I want to make a video about why I carry on so much about these Cake Law Digital Gold Series videos. I put up the first video, you know, the best coronator in Australia by far, which I really, really believe this is. And I talked there about the robustness of the build. I talked about the fact that there's a sun cap on it. There's no sun damage coming down on the top of this. Uh, but I want to talk in this video about the modes that this has on it. You see here, it's on timer mode at the moment. You've got on-off, that's pretty simple, that's what that does. Something that no other coronator I know of has a salt button. You can press that and it'll actually measure your salinity and give you a reading of what the salt level is. Uh, again, down here, sodium salts that will run three and a half to seven. There's a huge range of where it's happy to run. And you can also run it on mineral salts if you want to run it on the other salts it'll do that absolutely fine as well so it takes a little while for the salinity to come up there we go 58 25 this one's high but as you can see it's happy and running because it's between that three and a half and seven thousand parts per million so now this mode button here's where it gets really special you press that timer is where it's at we press mode again and you come up with mode super coronate you watch that'll start to work its way up the range it's down, turned down at the moment um super coronate is going to run this thing for 24 hours at 100 percent and that's going to super coronate your pool so if your pools you've ever come away from holidays come back from holidays or something the pool's green you can hit mode super coronate as long as you've got enough salt in there this will do the super coronation for you won't have to go down the shop and buy any chlorine does it for you when it's finished after 24 hours it'll go back to mode timer and run it in its normal cycle super handy next one mode boost that will run the coronator for six hours at whatever you've got set it on so hot summer's day you've had a lot of people swimming in the pool something like that you just come along you know mode mode boost leave it sitting there and it will um coronate your pool for you just for six hours and give it that boost it needs brilliant feature as well mode spa if you've got a system where you need to switch over to the spa you don't want the coronator running that will switch over when you're heating the spa you don't want the coronator running um, all the time because it'll make it way way too high for you to get into so you put it on mode spa so it drops right back and just makes a little bit of chlorine mode backwash if you've got a sand filter this will take you through the sequence um, I'll just hit it here you press enter put your handle to the backwash side well, this has got a, a multi-speed pump so it's slow to start but this would then run it on backwash until your side glass runs clear then you press it and it because you, you need the pump not running every time you um, turn your valve brings it around to the rinse um, there's no sand filter here so I can't show you finishes off the rinse cycle and then put it back to the filter cycle and then it's back to normal so again it goes back to mode timer once you finish that let's click through those super coronate boost spa backwash mode on now that's bypassing the timer that's always on so if you've got another timing system running your um, pool and you want this on whenever this power is up, then you put it onto mode on, it'll do that. Mode timer, you're back. In the menu down here, you can set your clock, you can set your chlorine output, you can set your timer. Pump protection, I'll show you what that is. Let's go down to it. Pump protection, enter. This is about how long the cell will go without anything in it before it turns the pump off. So if you do lose prime or lose water for some reason, this coronator will actually turn your pump off and save it from uh, burning out. And you can adjust how long that is. So if you've got a pump that sometimes does take a long time to prime, you can set it for a longer time. Enter pump protection under that cell cleaning. That's This is, has a reverse polarity cell. I should have mentioned that right up front. So it switches between the anode and the cathode. 
and um, therefore doesn't get anything on it. It's self-cleaning. See, this cell here is um, clean as a whistle. There's nothing on it. So it periodically switches the polarity in the cell so that you don't get a buildup onto the cell. Brightness, that's just your screen brightness. System info, that'll tell you how old it is and all the rest of it. So there you go. Mode timer, so she's running itself on its timer now. I am just impressed because they're so robust, well made, well thought out. Um, and look, I've been putting this in for probably about three years now and I've not had a single problem. I was asked, you know, what's the warranty on them like? I honestly gotta say, I don't know. Um, but they're a, a family business, so I know they're gonna back it up super well. But of all the units I've sold, which is a heap now, there's been a really good response to that best saltwater chlorinator in Australia video. Selling them at discount prices, contact Nilambic Pool and Spa Service, the link's in the description. But uh, yeah, I just think these, I mean, I've come across something, I'm a serviceman, so I get to see a huge number of different brands of chlorinators, and I get to see how they perform and why they break and what goes on. And in so many aspects, I'm just super impressed. They're also not that expensive. The standard one for a pool uh, is a something in that vicinity. I'll quote you exactly when you contact me. They are not expensive. You can get coronators now easily for two and a half thousand dollars and they're nowhere of the quality of this combination here. So I just think they're brilliant. Contact me if you want to buy one. I ship them all over Australia or New Zealand and uh, we can help you out.